Hey guys, it's Love Saloon here, and today I'm really excited to show you this super awesome hook only design. It is called the Portholes Double Triple Bracelet, and this was created by my good friend Suzanne HB. She's on Instagram as crazy, just might work. You definitely want to check her out and give her a follow if you haven't already because she has the most amazing designs and is always creating something cool and new. Um, here are just a couple different color patterns that I came up with. It is highly recommended to use some type of silicone band, especially for your portholes. Um, the Persian bands re and, and any kind of like sweets collections or so really make this bracelet very, very nice. So um, I did try the jelly bands. They just don't look as nice as the silicone. Um, to make this bracelet, it took me approximately 95 bands. So you can definitely adjust according to your wrist size, but that is the size of my wrist. Um, also, just to educate you very quickly, the um, lingo that I use for the tutorial, I will be saying portholes. Uh, the porthole bands are going to be these portholes going or rings going around the outside. The connector bands, which are gold in this bracelet. Also, on this side, you can see they connect the portholes together. So when I say to grab a connector band, I will be referring to the gold, which is what I will be using today. And then for the link bands, um, it's the white that I used here. I used purple um, for the links in this one. But <clears throat> they will all be double banded for this tutorial. So yes, yeah, so portholes, connector bands, white are the link bands. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to make this bracelet, all you need is your hook. I like to use my rainbow loom hook, but it doesn't really matter which kind of hook you use. And then you also need one C-clip at the end. So to get started, I'm going to start with three Persian bands, which are going to be my porthole bands. I'm going to be using uh, the Persian green and pink. I will alternate. So grab three of your Persian bands. And we're just going to sit them on the hook for now. Just like that and just kind of move them over a little bit. I like to kind of hold on to them with my pointer finger. And now you're going to grab whatever band is going to be your connector band. So just grab one connector band and we are going to be sliding these three rings onto this connector band. But the very first time before you um, re-hook the other end of your connector band back on, you want to twist it on for the very first time. So just slide over all three of your rings. I like to kind of turn it like that. It just helps me reattach it. Or you can even kind of stick it straight up so your bands aren't trying to fall off. And then before you attach it, make sure you do a little turn and twist and then reapply. And by doing that, it just creates that little twist right there. So all we have right now is one single connector band and our three porthole bands that are kind of just laying there. So I'm just going to hold on to that with my finger. Now you need to grab another connector band, which is gold. Now all we're going to do is slide our first connector band onto this connector band. So you can just slide it on like this, but I like to like I turn my hook like this a little bit. It just helps me slide my bands on. But make sure if you do it that way that you turn it back so that there is not a twist when you reattach your other end like that. Just slide it over. That's what you have so far. So now that we've done that, we need to add some of our link bands on, which in my case are going to be white. Now your link bands will always be double banded. They're the only ones that you're going to be using too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're going to slide our connector bands onto our link bands. So place it on your hook like so. And just slide your connector bands on. I'm going to do it the way I like to do it just to get them on a little easier. Slide them on. Make sure there's no twist. And then just reattach the other end of the white. Like so. We're going to add one more set of our 
link bands. So grab two more whites or whatever color you're using for your link bands. And now we're going to slide these onto these ones. Like so. And just make sure there's no twist or anything before reapplying that second batch of link bands. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. So now that we have um, our two link bands, after each time that we set uh, lay our two sets of link bands, we are now going to grab these three porthole bands. And all you're going to do, it may seem a little bit odd or tricky, we're just going to flip them up and place them on the hook. Just like that. And I would slide it over because you're going to need some room. I like to hold it with my finger. And now we need to grab our next set of portholes. So I'm going to switch to green. You need three of those. Every time you add your porthole bands on, you do need three of them. So you're just going to sit them on like this. I like to try to keep them from getting intertwined. Once you stick your porthole bands on, grab a connector band, which is gold for me. As you can see, we have a total of six porthole bands on here. With this connector band, we are only going to be pulling, we're going to be pulling these through, but we're only going to be pulling through our porthole bands. The white bands are going to stay on. So, holding on to those. Um, stretch out your connector band and then you're just going to slide over all of your portholes. Make sure your white stays on your hook. And I like to kind of put my hook straight up like this once I get them on. And then I use my finger to slide the band down a little bit just so I don't lose any of these porthole bands. And now carefully you have to reattach the other side of that band. So it should now look like this. Once you have it like that, we're going to grab another connector band and we're going to slide all four of these bands now onto this one. So I am going to turn my hook just to kind of help slide these on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Make sure that you have no twist or anything. So now we have all of those on that band. Reattach the other side. And that's what it should look like this far. Don't worry about these three hanging. Because after we lay our link bands, we will connect them again. So it should look like this. Now we need to go back to our connector bands. So grab two of your connector bands or not connector bands, link bands. Grab two of your link bands, which are white. Well, white for me. And we're going to slide them through these two gold bands. Make sure there's no twist. Reattach the other side. And you always do two sets when you do the connector bands, and you always do two sets when you do the link bands. So we're going to, whoops, we're going to add two more. So place it on your hook, slide the other two bands on, or four bands actually. I always like to slide it down a bit before I reattach. So it should look like that. So since I'm done adding my two sets of my link bands, we need to grab these portholes that were hanging here from the last time we added them on, and we need to just flip them up and place them on the hook like that. Slide them over so you have some room. But make sure they stay in front of the uh, link bands. Okay, so now we're gonna add, we need to grab three more of our porthole bands again. I'm gonna go back to pink. So add your three bands on. Just sit them next to the other porthole bands. 
line are stuck together. Let me just, okay. So it should look like this. You're going to grab your connector band, which is gold for me. And remember, we're going to slide these bands on, but we're only going to be sliding on the porthole band. Make sure that you leave the white on the hook. Once I pull them through and onto the gold band, I like to turn my hook a little bit. It just helps me reattach the other end of the gold. I'm sure you guys will figure out a rhythm that's comfortable for you, but that is what works for me. So once they're hooked like that, we're going to grab our second connector band. And now we're going to slide all four of these bands onto there. And make sure you don't have any twist. Reapply the other side. And it should now look like that. And the bracelet is going to look, it will lay this way. But you're looking at it from a side view right now. If you didn't know. Um, okay, so it should look like this. Make sure those portholes are not connected. Make sure they're laying down. And we're going to do that all over again. So now we're going to grab our link bands, which are white. Make sure they are double banded. Slide them through your two gold bands. And reattach the other side. You need to do that one more time. Make sure you have that double bandit. Slide them through. Reattach. Once we've done our two sets, we're going to flip these portholes up and reattach to our hook. I like to make sure that my bands are straight and not twisted so my bracelet lays nice. Once you've done that, you need to grab three more of your portholes, every time you flip them up and attach is when you need to add your next set of three. Just sit them on there. Grab a connector band and we're going to slide only our porthole bands on. I just like to use my left hand and slide them on. Did I miss one? Yes, I did. Whoops. Okay, let me try this again. Because I don't want this band being in there. So it's very easy to fix. So I'm just going to kind of do that whole step again, guys, because I kind of lost my bands a little bit. So I'm reattaching my three loose portholes. I'm going to hold them with my finger. Grabbing on to my connector band, and now I'm going to pull that through only my porthole bands, like so, and then reattach the other side. And now grabbing another connector one, we're going to now slide all of these bands through. Like so. So that was my second connector band. So now I can move back onto my white link bands. Remember, they are double banded. I don't want my bands twisted, so I'm just trying to fix that. Have to do one more set. Once you've done that, we're going to flip up our portholes again. I need to grab three of my pink. Place them on my hook next to my other portholes that I just flipped up. Like that. Now we're going to slide our portholes onto this connector band. 
But remember, the white has to stay on your hook. That's probably the trickiest part right there because you're only going through half of the bands that are on your hook. <clears throat> and now we're going to grab another connector band and slide all of these onto that. Like so. So basically the pattern is you do the two connector bands, the two link sets of bands, and then the porthole bands. And you just keep doing that over and over. That didn't cooperate. It's very tricky to film this. Well, in my opinion, it's very tricky. Um, but you'll see once you start doing it yourself, it's rather easy. I, I love this design so much. I think it's so cool. Okay, so I'm reapplying my next three um, portholes and now grabbing my connector band. I'm going to slide through just my porthole bands. Reattach to the other side. And now we're going to slide all of those bands on the hook through my connector band. Like so. Going back to my link bands, we have to do two sets of these. Now, since I've done two sets, I'm going to flip my portholes up again. This is where I like to just make sure that, see how they're like twisting? I don't like that. So this is where you can kind of arrange them to make sure that they're where they should be laying. Putting my next set on. Grabbing a connector band, pulling them through. Now pulling all of these through again. So I'm going to actually, I'm not going to make the whole thing, I'm just going to show you how you would close it off. Um, so after your two connector bands, you would do as normal and bring your link bands through and do that one more time. Because you have to have two sets. And then after your second set, you would flip these up like you normally would. But this time, instead of, um, once you flip up your portholes and reattach them, instead of adding more portholes on, just grab a connector band, which is gold for me. And you're going to slide all of the bands onto this connector band. Reattach the other end, and this is where you would add your C clip. So it's really super easy to close off. And then you can just kind of give it a little stretch. It pretty much lays as it needs to. If any of your holes are pulling a little, to, or yeah, port holes are pulling to one side a little more than the other, you can certainly adjust them super easily by just, you know, pulling them up or down. 
So there you have it. I, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this bracelet. I have made so many of these so far. I just love how it looks. And I think my new obsession is going to be hook design. So hopefully I get a little better at it. But here you have it. Like I said, this design was created by Suzanne HB on Instagram as at crazy just might work definitely check her out and give her a follow you do not want to miss her super amazing designs also tag me at love saloon on Instagram because I love seeing when you guys make my designs um, and yeah so hit the like button below if you like this video and I will see you all at my next video thanks so much for watching guys bye